Hi, Joy here. It is Friday, August the 9th, 2013. I was working today at my store, like I've been telling you about. I've been having to work because Jerry's having me do a bunch of stuff for him that has to do with accreditation. And uh, I decided when I got back from lunch that I was going to give myself the afternoon off. So <laughs> I don't have enough time off, right? Let me grab my pins here. This video is by request. A nice lady asked me to show her how I did, uh, how I made this into a princess seam style. I think the camera can probably see my seam going right down here, and this one going right down here. Princess seam, and in the back, princess seam. And the fit is absolutely divine because I started out with my SureFit Designs blouse blueprint. Well, this isn't really my blueprint. The blueprint's what you make other, other blouses off of. So my blueprints are always hanging on the door. Uh, but usually I, <laughs> I like to just start over and make another one a lot of the times. But anyway, this is one I made a blouse out of quite some time ago. Actually, it was February 29, 2012, so a year and a half ago. I made a blouse out of this. And it was a v-neck blouse with a bust dart over here and a waist dart right here. And I don't remember what fabric it was out of, but it's something that I've been wearing. Okay, so I decided I wanted to do a princess seam because I really liked this fabric. I thought it was cute. Although, I am upset with the way I cut it out. I wasn't thinking about a pattern repeat. I mean, what are the chances that just throwing your pattern pieces down, just, oh, I'll put one here, and 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 they all line up, and let's cut them all out. What are the chances that you'll end up with it exactly the same on the right as the left? This piece matches this piece perfectly. If I had a rocket science degree in advanced engineering, I could not have done it if I wanted to. <laughs> but I don't like it that way. I would like it much better if I had flowers here and dots here and flowers here and dots here and flowers here and dots here and it wasn't so liney uppy, especially right at my bust. But that's a joy thing. Philly would just roll her eyeballs and say, you are too picky. And Philly's right. So anyway. What you do is really easy. And let me tell all of you SureFit Designs ladies that Glenda Sparling, who owns SureFit Designs, has given complete, thorough, easy to follow instructions on how to do this in her Beyond Bodice Basics book. There is a style in here called Empire Design with Princess Line Seams. Well, if you're not doing an empire, you would just do it to the waist and all the way to the hem. So, you can see here, she has pictures, drawings, complete instructions, and a DVD in the back showing you step-by-step -step instructions. So what I'm going to show you is just a flash in the pan compared to what you do if you'll spend the little tiny amount that she charges for those books that she's put thousands of hours in. And I actually put a few hours myself in proofreading them. I don't work for her. I just, I automatically proofread everything anyway, and so if I find something from my secretary background where everything had to be super perfect back in the olden days when you typed on the bang, 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 typewriter, push the thing by hand, bang, 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 push the thing by hand, bang, 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 bang. Back then you didn't want to make mistakes because when you did, you had two or three pieces of carbon paper in there, and you ladies that are my age, you understand exactly what I'm talking about, and you rolled it out of the typewriter when you were all done, and then you had the top one, and then you had the second copy, and the third copy, and the fourth copy, and if you made a mistake, woe be unto you. You either started over, or you erased somehow all that carbon and the original, and you tried to line it all back up and stick it back in the typewriter. Oh my gosh! You better just do it right to start with. So anyway, me being an olden day secretary, I'm a super major proofreader. And so I just automatically proofread stuff. 
And so one time I contacted Glenda and I said, I noticed a mistake in your blog, in this paragraph, or I noticed a mistake here, or whatever. And uh, she decided to start writing these books. And um, I volunteered. I said, well, if you want me to proofread it for you, I'll be happy to. And she said, well, I can't hire you or make you an employee. I said, oh, it doesn't matter. There's no charge. I said, I do it anyway. <laughs> I might as well let you know what I find. So that's how I ended up being the, um, let me see. I think she's got my name in some of these books. Yeah, she has me right here editing Joy Bernhardt. So that actually just comes from me being a major Budinsky <laughs> and telling people when they make a mistake. So I really have nothing to do with her company other than I absolutely love it because I have personally used it and personally have two closets full of blouses from it. Okay, so back to what I was doing. I was going to show you. You start out with your regular blouse. Then you draw where you're going to want your princess seam to be. And it's going to be from your apex, which is your nipple. It's going to be from your apex. Draw a line up to the center of the shoulder and then draw a line down through the center of the waist art all the way to the bottom. Okay, you see how I did that? <coughs> Excuse me. And I drew a little blue line here and a little blue line here. That means match up your half, your two half pieces when you make it a princess seam, okay? So hopefully you can see this. Linda does this in great detail. There's much better props than I've got here. Okay, so here's the old bus dart. I'm going to close it up. Let me do it on the table because it's hard with it flying around in the air. You'll do it on a table. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to simply, I cut the bus dart on the bottom dart line all the way over to the apex. Okay, then I'm going to move it down and close it. Like that. And when I move it down and I close it like that, since I've already cut the pattern from the apex up to the new, <coughs> excuse me, allergies, I should have brought some water over here. Since I've cut it up through the shoulder, it opens up. So look at this. Instead of gigantic bus dart over here on the side, we now have a disappearing bus dart that is going to be a princess scene, okay? Now, you've got your lines drawn here, you've got your pattern together. I'm not going to cut the pattern apart anymore. And I'm going to pause this and get a drink of water. Hold on.